Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Jamie Plays with me, Jamie. We are going to continue our game as the Romulans. In the last episode we took Polaris, and now what I would like to do in this episode is to take Flaxir. I think that would be a good idea. They're currently inferior to me, they only have the one system, it means lots of slave pops will be great. We'll also distribute them throughout the Empire, and then also what we'll do is um, take some of our workers that are either Romulans or Remans or Garidians and move them to, um, for example, move them to Flax here. Um, let's also say you, let's have you build an outpost there. These two are still going through the Relics of the Sundering event. Um, Yeah, so we'll see how that turns out. Oh, we need a solution. Um, do we go to... We research the forest or burn them? Uh, let's research them, I think. That's a good idea. So, um, yeah, researching, good. While we're here, why don't we also, I mean, so fleet-wise, we are sending our fleets to Seven Wanted, oh, you, let's upgrade. Um, you, yeah, you're done with upgrade, that's good. The Sanog command declare war on the Iridian League, so we'll have to see how that goes. Romulus of the population issue, but we are building the city, that should be fine. All the rest of the buildings, I think. Um, hmm. Maybe it'd be good to have a bunker system. Um, I think, I mean, just to help protect the planet in case we do come under attack. I have a feeling that whenever the Klingons get close enough, they will definitely try and, um, yeah, put some moves on my systems. I don't want you talk, that happening if you possible. Talk, but you have they are the president. Yeah, I'm wondering if there's any type of or any other types of federations that will be added into this base game. I wonder if something like the typhoon or the typhoon patch um, will be added in, where a lot of the kind of more aggressive slave owning. Um, empires got together against the Federation. So here we've, after several months of extensive sensor analysis, it has been confirmed that the majority of the colonists aboard the Black Light have indeed survived. Ooh, establishing a tractor beam around the vessel, it slowly pulled free of the black hole's gravity until, uh, well, sorry, and the hole's gravity well until uh, transporter locks can be established on the survivors. Disoriented and confused. The colonists must now come to terms with the passage of time and their place in history. The Black Light itself has been made available to the Imperial Museum in order to inspire and remind the Romulan people of the sacrifices their ancestors made. Plus 10% growth speed for 24 months, perfect, and 542 unity gained. Yeah, so I wonder how that actually looks um, for our... Oh, yep, plus 10% for, for everything. I guess all of our pops will be um, increased by 10% or grow by 10% more. Yep, ancient Romulan colonists recovered, plus 10%. That's good. That Cordocene deficit, minus 50. So we're actually only growing at plus 10% at the moment. First fleet was fully upgraded. Let's have you then move to the Lowry system. And once they get there, I'll have both of these fleets jump into Flaxia, and we will take Flaxia. Um, so, oh, on this other one, this is the Pennon. Unfortunately, they've been killed. This means we only get the unity gained. And I'm going to send the transport fleet over here as well. And then here on Romulus, okay. No, oh, actually, so colonizers on the Delta Phoenicia's Prime regularly explore the planet in hopes of finding more resources to help with day-to-day -day life. 
A recent expedition to the North Pole has unveiled a large object at the bottom of the ocean, an alien battlecruiser. The pressure of the deep will prove a challenge, but it is possible to get the ship. We can try and salvage it, or scrap it and learn its secrets. Ooh, planetary scale construction. I'm actually going to scrap it and learn its secrets. The reason being is because I don't want to try and salvage it because it's going to be one of the base game, um, one of the vanilla Stellaris cruiser type things, which aren't going to be very helpful to the Romulan Empire. So let's scrap it and learn its secrets. And that means also if we go, for example, here, um, star base level three. Oh, that's level. Oh, perfect. That's great. But I'm going to continue with the Warbird for now, even though we're not going to get it. Sorry, the Starbird, even though we're not going to get it for a while because of reasons. Well, because we're researching other things. So, for example, this asteroid defense system research, for example. So, what can we do? At the moment, probably nothing. Um, something we need to worry about is energy credits. We will soon run out of. Food we're also about to run out of, so why is that not showing an error? Not sure, but let us change the situation. Let's sell off the minerals. Let's sell off some of our special resources. Like this. Like that. And buy some food. And sell off some more resources. Maybe even sell some supplies, because we're in the positive for those. Maybe some dilithium as well. Yeah, let's do that. Garrett's almost finished upgrading, so then we will go to do a naval depot there. And then we'll do a second naval depot as well. Oh, rivalry from the Benzarian Commonwealth. Yeah, why haven't we rivaled you yet? Declare rivalry. Confirm. And then, yep, actually, rather than just upgrading, why don't we say you go become a naval depot first? And actually, that means we can probably go ahead and start building this other fleet. So yeah, let's start building this new fleet. You'll be there in... About 90 days, so in about three months we will start this war. So, oh, we've done another one of the ships, um, and this is aboard the Lance, and they were killed centuries prior. That's unfortunate, but we still get the unity from it. So, still can't repair anything, but that's. Not too bad. We have five specialist jobs available. We should probably try and move, once we get some more slave pops from Flaxia, try and move the Romulans. Uh, well, we'll need some for Flaxia, but try and move them to Bolia Boliaxia. Actually, how's Garrid doing? Because they should also have yet drone assisted farming. I wonder, if we go to populations, let's set Talshar Operative to be um, higher, so that way this crime rate decreases, because we don't want that. On Boliax, yeah, you're fine for now. Um, oh yes, let's go for Sabotage an enemy starship, let's go for the Flaxians, and let's go for the low intensity negotiations, or operations I should say. Oh, excellent, this is the Forge. Um, and unfortunately they all died as well, but we still gain the unity. And you are here, so let us now declare war on the Flaxians. Vote yes. And we are now at war. So you go there. You also go there. 53 days. 50 days, so they should both get there on time. Would be nice.
Wait, is the third fleet missing anything? No, 100. Oh, it doesn't have the Tullus Warbird. Understood. Oh, you've sent both of the fleets that way. So this this fleet coming in, actually I'll have you move down here directly. And kind of come this way, hopefully it will bypass the starbase, help out with these fleets, and then both of them will go after the starbase. Let's set you for aggressive. I can't touch you at the moment. One of the rear have retreated. But it looks like we're generally destroying their ships. Which is good. Imperial construction project complete. Garrett's finished its upgrade. Yep, so you um, go for the naval depot. Oh, this is unfortunate that he didn't destroy that ship. Um, and you should go for naval depot as well. Good. We can reinforce one more ship that's being built for second fleet as well. This third fleet hasn't lost any ships. Oh, this is the Bloodwing. Unfortunately, same thing. Um, unity gained, but not any more colonists. So we're fighting one destroyer and two cruisers. How are these cruisers doing? Ooh, one's about to be destroyed. Ooh, gone. And here comes the second one. Gone. Excellent. So both of you um, go attack the starbase now. And we... Oh, we didn't lose any ships, and they lost eight of their patrol frigates and one cruiser. That's great. So now we're going in after this start base, and those two fleets should be fine. So, oh, we do have you two now sitting here. Um, you build the research station, then go upgrade. Actually, let's have the two of you go upgrade as well, and then I'll figure out where to put you. So transport fleet, let's have you specifically come to Flaxos. Yeah, we do need to find a source of Cordrazine somewhere. I wonder, Flaxos, do you have any? No, it doesn't look like it. Nope. Okay, well, no Cordrazine then. Um, actually, what we could do on Romulus, our decisions, instead of importing, I mean, yeah, we do have people working on trade. Instead of setting it for energy credits, we could actually set it for Cordrazine. How much Cordrazine are we missing? Minus two, we could import five Cordrazine per Latinum. Uh, let's do that. So we now gain 13 Cordrazine, so this that will solve that problem. Our pops will grow faster. So we have taken the Starbase. Let's have you both move back to Romulus. Um, this transport fleet, wherever you are, down here. Once you get there, rather than just orbiting, why don't you actually land your armies now? And on Flaxus, oh, there are no armies, so this should be a very easy takeover. So unpause the game. You're almost done with your rear class. Flaxia. Hmm. If I'm still only one starbase over, I think I will keep the Flaxia starbase. If not, I will then well, get rid of it.
So the next question then becomes... How many, well, actually the next question becomes, where am I going to put those, um, these two science ships that are going? So if we look at our planets and just go through them, Remus is making nine society research, 23 on Terex, uh, nothing on Romy, nothing on Belek, Garrid. Oh, we do have a science ship there already, I believe. Science ship, yep, already in Garrid. Um, so, here, no, no, 11, no, no. Um, well, what we could do, I guess, is let's have these, those two upgrade. Um, so, 11, I think Terex was the highest. Terex and Navam um, Vishav. But let's unpause the game. I don't know why I keep pausing. There's no need to at that point. You go here, and then what you will do is come back to Terex. Um, come back to Terex and assist research there. Oh, this is excellent. We've done all of the um, we've done all of the ships. We've done all of those projects, and now the chain has ended, and we gain an extra thousand ninety-two unity. Um. So you're upgrading and moving to Terex, let's click the other ship, and then of course wait for the game to respond. You're then going to come down here and assist with the Navam Vishav research. Uh, sorry, assist research at Navam Vishav. So you... I'm going to keep the alloys for a while. Yeah, I can build two ships. Both of them for second fleet. I mean, this one is fully repaired, and I mean, it's sorry, not fully repaired. What am I saying? It is. Um, it has all of its ships. It's fully manned. Third fleet is missing the Toulouse um, warbird, and of course, we're building second fleet, and there are two more rear class vessels. Minus one month we lose food. Let us change that. So food. Yeah, I guess we have to get rid of some minerals, maybe some supplies. Uh, and let's get rid of some of the dilithium. Oh, we have taken over the flax system. This is great. Why are you only at 60%? Not sure, but let's actually move you. Actually, you can stay in Flaxia. Maybe Sue for Peace, can we? Yeah, we can achieve the war goals, so we don't have to wait for them. Great. So we have taken Flaxos. So Flaxia is now ours. We are now over starbase capacity. So what I'm going to do is downgrade this starbase because we can't have that much of a resource drain on our economy. So on Flaxos, we are going to have, yeah, lots of people. Why not resettle? And a place that we don't have any slaves of any kind is actually um, Remus. Um, and it has five jobs. I'm not sure what those jobs entail. Three of them are worker jobs, two of them are specialist jobs. Okay. So let's resettle from Flaxos to Remus. Remus, sorry. Flaxos. Here. So unemployed. Nope. So let's move Remans and Romulans. Oh, I'm going to have just have something destroyed. Okay, let's do it from Flaxos then. And move one. One. Move. Move. I don't really understand why... Why it keeps doing that. Um, let's unpause the game and see if that people start moving around. Workers... 
but why are you just workers? You should be sitting from Remus. Remus. Oh, can Rom... No? Doctors. Yeah, they're doctors, which means they're specialists. Are there only some jobs that residents can do? I don't think so. Why don't we try resettling from Garrett to Laxos? And let's take um, Iridian um, and move Slave. So you've become a student, okay. Move a Garidian, move a slave. But you're staying as workers. We don't want you as workers. Why? Why are you being workers? Unpause and let's wait till the end of the month. Let's see if things shift round. Things being pops. No. You've taken technician positions, but nobody's becoming a specialist. Okay, here. Are there any Romulan workers? There are. So let's go from here, resettle our Romulan workers to Flaxos. So, um, Romulan farmer, send Flaxen. Um, Romulan farmer, But it looks like it's just displacing the the Flaxons, Flaxians. Unemployed Romulan workers, but I don't want you to be workers, I want you to upgrade. Why? Why? But Romulan, you're set rights, full citizenship, so you should really be specialist and somebody else should become a ruler. What is this? Why is it doing this? Well, we can still accept five people here, so on Flaxus. Uh, Flaxos, yep, here. One more there. Move you there. Oh, and now things have shifted. You've become factory workers. Okay, why does it keep doing this? So, on Flaxos. There are no more worker jobs. Planetary summary. Mining network, drone assistant farming, holo theater, hospital complex. Cultural Plaza. Hmm. I'm going to leave it for now. Let's have you upgrade. That first fleet is fully repaired. That's good. Second fleet. Can I build any more ships? No, not currently. Not presently. Actually, you know what? Polaris? How much trade are we getting? We're only getting two from you at the moment. It might actually be an idea to not upgrade the Starbase and actually downgrade it. Because I'm looking at this energy consumption. Let's do that. Let's get the resources back, then let's downgrade. Not dismantle the Starbase while you've colonized systems. What? This makes no sense. Yeah, we don't want to dismantle it, but why is there still that module there? Dismantle? Yeah, okay. That was weird. But we're now at the, yeah, nine starbase capacity that we supposed to have. Third and first fleet, you're doing well. Let's see how we compare to other people. So we, um, okay, here. Akamarian, they're in our, yeah, so inferior, the Velti Senate, the Gorn, the Margellians, 
Sumerian unity is pathetic. The Sumer command is inferior. That's good. Um, the Benzarians and the Saurians are equivalent and at war with someone. Iridian League is inferior and at war with the Sanar Command. Krill and Suluban are equivalent. Orions are pathetic. I mean, that's always good when they're pathetic. They're all equivalent. Klingons are superior and the Metron, of course, are overwhelming. I think what I'm going to do... 4,000. Let's leave that one. Let's move you over here. Let's also move the First Fleet here as well. Wait, how do we get to the Zakdorn? Let's move you here, and let's move Third Fleet there. Actually, what we could also do is open... We are improving relations with them. Why don't we open our borders as well? Open borders. We are losing food and money, and what else? Latinum in about 97 months. Let's sell some dilithium. Actually, let's sell some alloys as well. That's not something you hear me say very often. But, I mean, I do need food. The open borders from the Zinti, that's good. So now, even if we have to go through the Zinti, we can definitely get to the Zakdorn. As they will be our next war. I'll also take the system here, Markham. Which is why I'm also sending that construction ship over there. So, thank you. Romulus. We have one more. One more. We do have a lot of student jobs. Oh, sorry, um... We have, what, five worker jobs. What was that? War declared Trill and the Sanar. Okay. Wait, does that mean the Sanar are fighting two battles, two wars now? Yes, they are. But, oh, and they're do not doing so well against the Iridians either. Well, that's okay. Ooh. I do have you here. You let's survey this system. Actually, we could send some people to survey. On Terex, actually, I think Remus is producing less research. Yes, it is. Let's go to Remus, and oh, we don't have a science ship there. Okay. Um. Oh, Garrett. Garrett is the other one, of course. How much research are you? 25. Okay, so let's send the one at Terex. And let's set you to automatically explore. You are going to go survey that and then automatically explore. And I'm also going to send this construction ship here as well. That way, if we can, we'll get that system as soon as possible. So maybe we'll get two more systems, who knows. But Earth has declared the Trill administration their rival. Okay. And maybe the Trill would be a good well, the, a good next step for our coalition, maybe, to have them on that side. So there are the Cardassians. Yeah, not necessarily best. Delta Phoenicia's Prime? We only have one Boli in there. And that's probably why it says that there is a riot. Actually, this fusion reactor shouldn't be a fusion reactor. Um, let's um, disrupt relations between a foreign power. Let's go for the um, Andorians and the Vulcans. Um, Andorian... Actually, hold on. Back. You're still Rhyme. Uh, sorry, that's the Orions. The Vulcans. You are rivaling the Andorians, that's good. Actually, if we could get 
them to rival the Saurians as well. So let's go back. Disrupt relations between... Actually, who? how about United Earth? You're only rivaling the Trill. If we did... Admit the truth! Yeah, if we did the um, United Earth versus the Saurian League, that would also be good. United Earth. Um, new dossier. Saurians? Hello? Actually, it might just be easier to do the um, Benzarian Commonwealth if they come up. Yep, here we go. Um, medium intensity? Yeah, let's go for that. Sounds good. And we're losing food again. So let us figure that out. I'm wondering, should we continue with the research? Or are those projects worth it at the moment? Because this is still going to take 170... Six months. I don't want to cancel, so... Well, let's wait and see. But we need... I think let's move a Romulan from Romulus to the Delta Phoenicia's Prime colony. Um, and let's send a Romulan who's the Tal Shiar operative. Oh, actually, no, we don't. Come back. Decline. Uh, let's send a, um, a Riemann technician. You move back. Good. Yeah, it's okay. Um, you let's replace this with um, large scale fields. Yeah. So. Yeah. So I guess let's just see how this kind of plays out. So I am going to put a cut in here. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you do, please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. That's it for now. Bye.